Here is one of the chief guests uh, at the Indian Diaspora event, singer uh, Mary Miliband. Uh, thank you so much for joining thank us here on Namaste. India Today. Uh, what you are going to do is special. She is going to sing the national anthem, uh, the Indian national yes. anthem, in front of the entire audience. How excited are you uh, for being here? Well, first let me say hello to all the India Today audience. Namaste. I'm so excited to be here. It's such a great honor to uh, be a part of the Prime Minister's historic historic state arrival visit. I've had the great pleasure to sing our national anthem, the American anthem, for four consecutive U.S. presidents. But this is probably, I'll tell you, this is, this is icing on the cake to be here tonight to celebrate the Prime Minister and to raise the Indian national anthem. A, an anthem and a song that I personally have come to love and certainly that is very meaningful to, to all of your audience and so many. So, so Mary, I've, uh, I've learned from somebody that you really practice your Hindi. How did that come about? Well, I give a lot of credit to my great uh, Hindi coach, Dr. Mo who is based in Rajasthan. We met uh, during 2020 a year when we were preparing for some performances and he's really, I tell you, my, my love for the language, my love for the culture, I give Dr. Mokshraj a lot of credit. Yes. All right. And what do you make of the buzz, uh, the Indian community? Uh, have you ever seen a world leader come to the United States of America and get this kind of a welcome? Well, I've been fortunate to be involved in a lot of state arrival visits for multiple administrations, but I have to say this particular week for the Prime Minister has been truly uh, just beautiful and remarkable to see all of the love for the Prime Minister, certainly what he is, is doing in India, but certainly his leadership as it relates to the U.S.-India relation, uh, relationship. And so uh, I have certainly been honored to be a part of this week, and it's going to be a beautiful night in celebration of the Prime Minister and certainly of a country and a people that I love. All right. And you also performed yoga right beside the Prime Minister. Yes. It, How was that? Well, I was a little intimidated. I said, the Prime Minister is quite fit. And he so is. I, I, I need to go take a few more classes to probably keep up with the Prime Minister, but we had a wonderful time. It was such a historic day, certainly, for International Yoga Day. I want to thank the Ambassador for her wonderful invitation, and uh, it was a joy to share that moment with the Prime Minister. So, you have traveled to India. I have. Tell your American friends why should they be traveling to India, which is what Prime Minister Modi always asks. I tell you, India is such a special place, and I, I hope that every person watching that lives in the United States or across the world, go visit India. It, there's so much, uh, so much of who we all are in the context of humanity has origins in India. And so uh, my experience in India was just truly memorable, it was remarkable uh, to finally experience the culture, the people, the wonderful cuisine, uh, and I tell you, and, and the patriotism. I loved being in India during the time of the anniversary because you saw uh, love of country and, and, and love for freedom fighters and the patriotism at its highest. And so I really enjoyed being there during that time. But you're also learning Indian music. Yeah. So before I let you go, you will have to do a little bit for us and the audience watching back home. Okay, just a little. You guys sing it with me, right? Uh, no, oh, I'm, I'm no, not at all. <laughs> I, so if you have Mary Milbanti over here, it, it's not possible for anyone no, else to really no, uh, well, sing along. Song that you grew up learning, and learning style, and singing. So, but yeah. I suggest you sing okay, and and let the world see how. Uh, Americans and people across the world are now look, taking to Indian classical or Indian bhajans for that matter. So, Om Jaya Jagadish Hare Swami Jaya Jagadish Hare Bhakta Jano Ke Sankata Dase Jano Ke Sankata Shana Me Dura Kare Om Jaya Jagadish Hare Om Jaya Jagadish Hare Beautiful. Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you. All right. That was so lovely. Uh, Milben was going to be singing uh, right at this very uh, Ronald Reagan Center, the business center where Prime Minister Modi will be arriving. Uh, in fact, this is going to be the last and final uh, event, the last leg of the Prime Minister's state visit to the United States. Geeta Mohan is still with us. Geeta, uh, what a lovely, uh, you know, voice that lady has, Milben, who's going to be singing. Tell us a little more about uh, this kind of honor uh, that, that Prime Minister Modi gets with performers. They're performing every day for, for all of the state events that have been organized. He has one performance to greet him. How many of how many world leaders really are awarded this kind of reception? Really? Well, 
Well, uh, the fact that she sang so beautifully, she insisted that I sing, and I, I, I knew that that's not going to happen. Uh, but the fact that she sang that beautifully and is so inspired by India, uh, not new, uh, Nabila, it's not a new feature. Uh, there are many people who've been inspired for years, for decades, and have been learning Indian classical. Uh, but to see Mary Milliban sing, sing so nicely and so beautifully, I look forward to the national anthem that will be sung in the auditorium inside.